change how you think about love. We have a monthly spiritual discourse with Bhai Chait Behena Hilya, Pandita Sham Kumari is a part of, and I know they will get it. Om Samano Mantra Samiti Samani Samanam Mana Sahachitta Vesham Samanam Mantram Abhimantra Eva Samane Navo Havishajahomi My dear brothers, sisters, children of God, Namaste. Today on this beautiful celebration, showing gratitude to God, celebrating Pandita Shankumari's birthday, and celebrating Pandit Gulsaran's presence among us again, I'd like to talk about love, but love from a different perspective, a divine perspective. And I hope that when you walk out of here today, that your thoughts about how you think about love will have changed. When asked, many of us will say, yes, we are loving. When we examine what we call love closely, we will say that we love our families, we love our spouses, we only love our children, and we love our relatives and maybe some friends. Our love is selective. This love is confined to a few. This is not the kind of love I'm talking about. I'm talking about love through different eyes. Love, looking at love through spiritual eyes. I'm talking about looking at love with a selfless heart, through a mind that is open, a mind which loves freely, that kind of love which expects nothing in return. Most of us have heard the story about the two friends that were camping in the woods. They were having their morning coffee. They heard rustling in the bushes. Coming at them with full speed was this large bear with a hungry look on his face. One of them started putting on his shoes. The one turned to him and says, you don't think you can outrun that grizzly bear? The other one says, no, I just need to outrun you. <laughs> Not that kind of friends. Nowadays, this is what friends seem to be. They run away at the first signs of diff difficulties. I'm sure that many of you have wondered how many true friends you have. I wonder how much of a true friend you are to others. In these modern times, it's so easy to spot, it's easy to make friendships. We hit that friend button on your phones or your computer, and the device proclaims that you are now friends. Sometimes it seems that we have lost the ability to know how to make real true friends, loving friends. And this shallow way of thinking is what our children eventually learn from us. So let's go back to this favorite subject, love. Most of us you know I always talk about universal love, the ability to show equal love to all of God's children. And those children are also the animals, those are also his children. By showing patience and tolerance and forgiveness and kindness and comparing, uh, compassion and caring and sympathy and empathy and all of that, universal love. So today we look at love through divine eyes, if you will. Imagine that all the love which we feel is for the divine God. So every Sunday we recite this mantra, professing our love and devotion to God. Om ya prana to yin nimisha to mahitvai taindra cha cha gato bhubhuva ya isheya sya dupadasya tushpada kasmai devaya vishavidema. 
With him I'll be offered your worship and love to you, O oh God. I encourage each of you, though, to let us look at love and life this way. That if I practice universal love, and I, if I love everyone and everything equally, and if God is the creator of everyone and everything, and if God exists in everyone and everything, and if we show that love to everyone and everything, we are showing love to God. Make sense? You follow the logic? Om Isha Vasya Medam Sarvam Yat Kincha Jagat Yam Jagat. Everything Sarvam controlled by, created by God. So today, here's what I'll do I'll sing some love songs, bits and pieces, and show you why any love song can be a prayer. And this is how Pandita Shamkwari gets it, Aichet gets it, Ben Ahelia gets it. So these songs profess love. We will discuss this love. We will examine what Vedas has talked about this God. And I hope that when we are done today, that I have in some way helped you to redefine what you think about love. The meaning of this song, remember, this is not a literal word-for-word -word meaning. It's a, it's a meaning where you put into the general feel of the song. It says, I can't live without you. And many of you would know it. You know it, sing along with me. I can't live without you, think God. There's no meaning in my life without you, think God. If I ever get separated from you, it's like I am getting separated from myself. Because it's you. It is only you. I'm getting the chills as I read this. My life is only you. My relief, my hurt, my love is only for you. I'm not a great singer, but bear with me. Kyoki tum hi ho, avatum hi ho. Zindagi abhutum hi ho chain bhi Mera dard bhi Mere aashiki abhutum hi ho Hum tere bin ab reh nahi sakte Tere bina kya hojood mera Tujh se juta agar ho jayege to khud se hi ho jayege juta Kyunki tum hi ho, ab tum hi ho, zindagi ab tum hi ho Chain bhi, mera dard bhi, mere aashiki ab tum hi ho and here's his verse. Tera mera rishita hai kaisa Ek pal dur gwaara nahi Tere liye har roz hai jeete Tujh ko diya mera vart sabhi Koi lambha mera na ho tere bina हर सांस पीना मैं तेरा क्योंकि तुम ही हो अब तुम ही हो See where I'm getting at love it's talking about love but we can make this song a prayer when you hear a love song it says when what is this bond between you and me we can't stay away from each other. I can't stay away from him. This divine love we're talking about. It's for you that I live every day. I give you the time of my life. There's not a single moment of my life without you in it. It's not true. Right? Every breath of mine has your name written on it. Because it's you. My life is you. It's a prayer. This song is a prayer. 
My fellow souls, any song, any love song can be a song of love for God. As we go about living our lives, we can really and truly tell of our divine love through any love song. A love song, you hear a love song and your mind changes the thinking about that divine and universal love. If you check a dictionary and you Google it, love is defined as an intense affection for another person based on family or personal ties. It says that often this intense affection stems from a physical attraction for that other person. We love other people or we say we love them. We are physically attracted to them. But notice in the dictionary de definition of love, there's two words based upon. Those words insinuate that the love is conditional. Based upon this, I love you. You love someone because they fulfill a condition that you require before you love them. How many times have you heard people say, I love you because you are this or you're cute. I love you because you take care of me. I love you because you're fun to be with. Or I love you because you love me. It's based upon something. That is the human physical aspect of love. Let us rise above that definition of love. True love is not selfish. It is not unkind. It is not boastful. It is not ego-driven. It is not determined by greed. It is not ruled by wealth. It is not governed by name, fame, and glory. And it is not conditional. That kind of universal and divine love. In Bhagavad Gita, Sri Krishna tells us about the divine presence which we all have, but he's talking about the divine presence within himself. Tesham satata yuktanam bhajatam preti purvakam dadami bhutti yogam tam yenamam upayanti te. To those who are ever devoted, loving, disciplined in thoughts, words, and deeds, in that kind of discipline. The person who is always engaged, understand the divine presence within, to that person who is selfless, who gives of himself, those people really understand the divine. In his case, he says, those people come to me or become one with the divine. So when you leave Mandir, you go home, you continue living your life, I hope that when you hear a love song, and I'll put a couple of bits and pieces of other ones that you might hear, that you think about not just physical human love, but you think of divine love. The true kind of universal love, which is based on no conditions. That kind of love. You know this song? Ek tera saath, ek tera saath. Hamko do jaha se pyara hai Ek tera saath Ek tera saath Hamko do jaha se pyara hai Tu hai to har sahara hai Na mile sansar Na mile sansar Tera pyar to hamara hai I am one with you. You are my one and only friend. To share my life with you is worth more than this entire world. Wouldn't you say that about the divine? You should be saying that about the divine. With you by myself, I have all that I need. That too you should say about the divine. These words are truly prayers. Now I know that there are some very good parents who also have great friendship type relationship with their children. And this is how it should be. And here we are telling God, yes, you, my best friend, create that kind of relationship with God. 
feel that kind of love with God. Our relationship with God should be a personal relationship. You remember the stories of Mirabai? Mirabai, who used to go around singing love songs, all kind of people would say she's crazy because she saw love in, she saw divine love, love for God for every single love song. Not so crazy when you think about it, is it? There should be a part in our minds which is always in constant communication with the divine. This bhajan. Jab jab bahar aaye Aur phool muskuraye Mujhe tum yaad aaye Whenever the spring comes and flowers blossom, I always think of you. Isn't that a defined sentence in itself? Whenever the moon comes out and the stars sparkle, I think of you. Everywhere we look, his presence. Apna koi tarana Mayne nahi banaya Tumne mere lago se I never made any songs of mine. You have set all the tools to my lips. Inspire yourself by thinking and making that connection with every love song to the divine. You see, the love that most of us practice is not only conditional, it's very fickle. We love based on feeling and emotions that can change from one moment to the next. The divorce rate, you look at it, is extremely high because husbands and wives supposedly stop loving each other. You hear the phrase that they have fallen out of love. I don't know how that happens. What really happens is they may go through a rough patch in their marriage and they no longer feel at love. They call it quits. At the first signs of obstacles, we gave up the race. Evidently, their, evidently their vows of a commitment for life as it's known in the West, they say what? Till death do us part. Means that they can part at the death of their love. But Sri Krishna tells about the divine presence again within himself, which also exists in every single one of us. Bhaktyamam abhijanati yavanyacha asmi tattvataha Tatamam tatvataha jyatva vish vishate tad anantaram. In this shloka from Bhagavad Gita, Sri Krishna says that only through devotion can one get to understand the God's personality. So, what does he mean by that devotion? It means that. When we are aware of his presence within, when we can connect what happens externally to what we have within, when we can see God's presence within everything externally and within ourselves, when we realize that consciousness of his ever presence, then that door opens to really and truly experiencing oneness with the divine. And it starts with understanding that divine love we're talking about. And this song, one of my absolute favorites, I think I heard you sing it one time. Magar ji nahi sakte Tumhare bina How much do I love you? This I don't even know, but I know I cannot live without you, God. 
सुनागम जुदाई का उठाते हैं लो जाने जिंदगी कैसे बिताते हैं लो दिन भी यहाँ तो लगे बरस के समान हमें इंतजार कितना ये हम नहीं जानते मगर जी नहीं सकते तुम्हारे बिना हमें तुमसे प्यार and if anyone if you want these songs I'll whatsapp them to you if you ask if you don't have it so let me know it says I've heard that people carry the burdens of sorrows and separation don't know how they can survive this even one day here seem like a year without you how long do I have to wait I don't know but I do know that I cannot live without you so are we getting the idea now do we really understand what unconditional love I'm talking about what that means it seems that the love children parents have to their children is as closest to unconditional as we know most of us continue to love our children through good times and bad we don't stop loving them even though they don't meet our expectations and when they feel to fail to meet our expectations we still make a choice to love our children we don't stop feeling love for our children as god is the father and the mother of all his love for us does not stop because we have been not good he does not stop loving us because we have done bad things god's love transcends human definition of love and that is why sometimes it's hard for us to understand and even though many of us take time to pray every sunday god makes a time for us every single day every moment of every day his presence within 100% of the time and his voice always speaks to us it is up to us to understand and feel his presence within this mantra om sahana bhavatu sahana bhunatu sahaviryam karvavahai tejasvi navadhitamastu ma vidvishavai oh god together saha together with and along with may you protect me so we acknowledge his presence in so many mantras but do we understand his presence and this this song many of you will know jis gali mein tera ghar na ho pal ma us gali se hame to guzarna nahi jo takar tere dwar pe chaati na ho us takar pe hame paav rakhna nahi jis gali mein you know this song any street where your house does not stand my beloved who beloved which beloved think divine is there any street where he is not is there anywhere where he is not we this the bhajan says we don't want to be where he is not we don't want to go to a door where he is not that is not the path we are willing to set foot on is this song also a prayer so god's love is on the unconditional he wants nothing from us we might be fixated on doing the rituals we might say we have to do this seven times and we have to do that three times and we have to recite this a thousand times and he wants nothing from us you know what he wants he wants us to be good children he don't want us to do anything he's got everything he don't want us to offer anything to him he has and he made everything all he wants from us is to understand his presence to love to be good children of his 
So my fellow souls, if you want to know this kind of true love, get to know God. He's ready to pour his love out to you. He wants to teach you how to love others as he loves you. And today, from the bottom of my heart, I pray that as each one of you leave my dear today, that you feel his presence in your life. You feel his presence in your very being. And that when you hear a love song, that your mind turns to the divine and you make any love song you hear a prayer. This is my prayer for each and every one of you. Om Purna Madaha Purna Midam Purna Purna Mudashyate Purnasya Purna Madaya Purna Meva Vashishyate With love and humility in my heart, I say Namaste to each and every one of you. Om Shanti 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 Thank you. Uh